Hello everyone, today is a special day. We're interviewing Glow of DRX, our coach, and also will be with us Simon, the translator from DRX. Thank you very much for joining uh, the interview. And we're going to go straight up into the question. Glow, many fans always imagine how is it to be a pro player, how is it to be a coach or an analyst. And there's a huge underappreciation of the coaching staff. Would you be so kind and explain to us how does your typical day look like as a coach and also how your pro players are spending their time at work? Uh, 그 다음에 끝난 다음에 이제 선수들과 저희 이제 코치진과 이제 피드백 시간이 있고 그렇게 진행을 하고 있습니다. 예, 잠시만 끝나서 할게요. Every day we practice from um, 11 to 12 hours and then oh we first uh, have warm-ups and then four to five like scrimmage matches and then we get together with coaches and have feedback. 어 이제 추가로 매일 열한 시간 막 열두 시간 하지는 않고요. 이제 뭐 주말은 쉬는 경우가 많고 어좀 줄여서 할 때도 있습니다. 너무 매일 그렇게 하면은 힘들기 때문에 네 적당히 이제 융통성 있게 진행하고 있는 것 같네요. Oh, on top of it, we're not doing it every day, 11 to 12 hours. Uh, we're trying to make it flexible where Weekends we take a rest, and mm -hmm. sometimes we have less hours practice. But we're trying to practice as much time as we can. And as an as a coach, uh, when you're doing those sessions, that's obviously with the team. But when, you, uh, how, what what kind of work are you doing as well yourself? Because I'm sure that you're preparing some strategies or like working with analysts, uh, analysis and so on. Is, is that something you can share with us? The coach also. 이런 거할때 어떤 역할을 하는지 전략이나 뭐 이런 것들 이제 공개해 줄수 있는 음, 일단 저희가 코치 감독진이 많기 때문에 뭐 전략적인 부분도 분명히 따로 준비할 때도 있고요. 그리고 선수 개개인이 다 성향이 다르기 때문에 선수의 그 선수 개개인마다 피드백을 좀 다르게 진행하고 있어요. 그래서 좀더 세밀하게 할수 있는 것 같아요. Well, there are a lot of things that we are doing, but um, since we have um, many coaches and head coaches and also the uh, analysts, mm -hmm. that, um, we do prepare strategies and we apply to um, players individually differently because they have their own different uh, play styles. Mm -hmm. And then we give, try to give uh, um, much feedback as possible to the uh, each individuals. Okay, uh, one more question about this. So um, I always say that the coaching staff works more than the pro players because it's you know they need to work with the pro players, but they also need to work alone. Is that true for DRX as well? <laughs> 코치들이 프로 선수 더 많은 시간 투자해서 일을 하는 건데 코치님 같은 경우 어 사실인지 얼마 어떻게 더 많이 <웃음> 솔직히 뭐 저희 팀 코치진은 다 똑같을 건데 먹고 자고 하는 시간 빼고는 항상 발로란트 생각을 하고 있는 것 같아요. Well, frankly, I believe. All our coaches, our members are pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. That we just work on the uh, our job as a coach ex every day, all the time, except for eating and sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, it's not many fans know how much work goes into coaching a team and also just being a pro player. It's, it's it's unbelievable work. The amount of time you guys put in is admirable, but also the results are showing. So thank you.
Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's let's jump to the Brazil event. Um, so it's it's a it's a single elimination tournament, right? And so that's one thing. It's three. Uh, yes, single elimination, best of three. Can you share us like your own thoughts about how is it different for you as a coach because it's a single elimination, best of three? Is it different for you to approach it when it comes to strategy? Single elimination, I get the money, so I got more chalagal, some gigona, Kurogan, take a Pudam Suron Bubunisoso, i it is very difficult to hide our strategy. Um, mm -hmm. that we're gonna try our best at every single game, even with the uh, first team that we're gonna have on uh, February 14th or the, is it 15th? 14th, In yeah. Brazil? Yes. Um, that, you know, the first team, the first team that we're gonna be playing with, against, it's not easy team. So we're gonna try our best and try to um, beat the team. It's actually kind of interesting because your first opponent is going to be BBL and they are a team that is, I think it's actually kind of lucky for DRX that you can watch the, them play already for so long, right? Can you, uh, is it okay? Is it better for you that you guys can watch so many votes of them? What do you think? The BBL is a lot of people who have been in 뭐 많이 봤던가 어 많이 어 경험 있어서 더 쉽다고 생각하는 음... 어 어떻게 저희가 작년 챔피언스 때 터키 팀들하고 굉장히 연습을 많이 했어요. 그리고 상대를 상대 이제 BBL 팀뭐 경기도 보려고 했는데 되게 예전 경기밖에 없어서 그냥 터키 팀 플레이 스타일이 대충 어떤지는 알기 때문에 그거에 맞춰서 이제 선수들이 잘 헤쳐 나가지 않을까 싶어요. Champions that um we have encountered a lot of uh, Turkey teams. Mm -hmm. But uh for BBL wise we couldn't find any recent uh, team matches or uh videos that uh we only could see the old yes. versions of uh, their matches. That you know, since we have um, practice or the um, encounter a lot of Turkish teams um, last champions, that I believe the all the our players will be able to find their way to make it work. Do you uh, like the way the Turkish teams are playing when they're you know more aim heavy, less strategy? It's like a complete opposite of of DRX, right? Uh, 쪽 이제 게임 방식이 이제 뭐 조준해서 맞추고 전략이 별로 없고 이런 이제 간단하게 그 게임 플레이 방식을 하는데 GRX랑 약간 반대되는 성향의 플레이를 하는데 그런 면에서 좀더 쉬울 것 같지 않냐 될것 같은 그 좀... 어, 저희가 작년에 연, 처음에 연습을 했을 때는 전혀 저희랑 다른 스타일이기 때문에 좀 스크림 과정에서 힘든 경우도 있었고요. 그런 점을 저희가 잘 알고 있기 때문에 그 이제 터키 팀들의 플레이 스타일을 잘 이용해서 저희 선수들이 잘 헤쳐 나갈 수 있을 것 같습니다. At first when we encountered, you know, different game play styles that uh, it was very difficult for us to play against them. Mm -hmm. But you know, after uh, many games and many practices that uh, we did, and I believe the players are well aware of all the uh, different situation and how to make their way all the way to uh, beat the team. That um, you know, I have a lot of confidence that they will be able to do it. 
Okay, awesome. Uh, let's let's jump to another topic, the meta game. There was a lot of changes in Valorant lately because of the balance patch. So we have both the chamber and the stinger situation. And uh, you know, for teams who prefer the heavy utility uh, strategies like DRX, like Fnatic, uh, those changes actually affect very much the way that you build your compositions. Uh, did you like the chamber uh, nerf? And what do you think will change now for the team that you probably will not play that much chamber? Okay, mm. Mm. 우선 chamber가 너무너무 <laughs> 전략적으로 좀 많이 뭐 힘든 점이 있을 수도 있겠지만 저희는 또 체인버가 없을 없을 때더 저희 작전들이 더잘 통한다고 생각하고 있기 때문에 아마 고점에 있어서는 저희가 뭐 다른 시선 다른 뭐그 코멘터 하는 하시는 분들은 저희가 체인버 너프돼서 저희 팀이 힘들 것이다라는 말들이 많더라고요. 근데 오히려 저희는 반대라고 생각하고 있고 이제 요번에 브라질에서 아마 선수들이 보여줄 것 같습니다. 그리고 스팅어 너프는 무조건 해야 된다고 생각을 했고 네. 한번 먼저. 네. Oh, we are, I'm very happy about the fact that our chamber is nerf. Um, <웃음> because you know, it is very uh, difficult. But um, you know, strategy-wise, in the beginning, it was very difficult for us to um, get used to it. Not, you know, having all this, uh, having all this uh, chambers nerf. But mm -hmm. um, I believe a lot of people, like even commentators, they're saying that uh, for us, without the chamber, it's going to be hard for us to uh, make, you know, perform our, you know, abilities as uh, you know what we were doing before. But oh, really? I think you know because. Not having a chamber that is better for us, I think we're gonna be um, our strategy gonna be work really well, so that uh, in Brazil that uh, in a kickoff that our players will be able to perform really well. Ah, 추가적으로 chamber가 있음으로써 저희가 전략을 짜는 데 있어서 굉장히 애를 많이 먹었었고요, 힘든 점이 있었었고요. 그래서 오히려 없는 게 저희는 굉장히 편하다고 생각하고 있습니다. With the chamber that it was very hard for us to have a good strategy that uh, you know now without him it, it is better for us to have a good strategy to uh, be able to you know kill the other teams. It's interesting because you mentioned that uh, uh, I'm, I'm guessing this is in your local scene that the casters were saying that DX were going to have a harder time because from my perspective it would be exactly as you said it's going to be now better for you, right? So was that the was that the casters from from Korean scene that were saying that that the Rx is gonna have hard the time with our chamber? Um, it was from a foreign caster, not a Korean caster. Oh, okay, interesting. I would never think that the Rx will actually struggle now with our chamber because that's I feel like that's a great change for the Rx for the amount of strategy that you guys can do now with proper sentinel utility, you know. So that's kind uh, right of now, without a, without a chamber, that we have a, a more strategy that we can do. Yes, than yes. Before. Definitely, definitely. All right, and now let's talk about the second change. Stinger. Stinger. Yes, <laughs> the stinger. What? What? Do you think it was good? Do you think it was too good? What was your opinion on the gun before the nerf? <laughs> 좋았는지 너무 좋았는지 뭐 어떤 거였는지 첫 번째는 일단 일단, 일단 말이 안 되게 셌고요. 솔직히 스펙 스, 스펙터보다 좋다고 생각했어요. 그렇기 때문에 무조건 너프가 될 것이라 예상을 하고 있었고 근데 너프가 돼서도 좋을 것 같아요. 그래서 조금 걱정이 되기는 해요. Well, before the nerf that it was uh... Nonsense. I mean, it was <laughs> crazy. It was, uh, you know, too strong that uh, it was even better than a spectre. spectre. Yes. That um, it was just crazy. But um, I think even after the nerf, that it's still gonna be strong. So that you know, we're a little bit worried. Okay. So uh, because 
from from the perspective of the rx right when you force you don't have that much utility so you rely on just running it down and i'm guessing that's something that you don't like Hmm. So if the nerf um, doesn't work that much, then we'll probably do the same as, uh, you know, we just <laughs> have a different strategy, like, you know, you know whatever works with the uh, singer, so. Mm -hmm. is, there, is there anything you would like to change about the gun more? Do you have any any your own idea how to nerf the gun even more? The uh, firing speed should be a lot more decreased. Okay, you know, it was funny because the first thing had 18 bullets per second, then it was nerfed to 16, right? It still feels too, sh too fast for you. ね、炭素 I don't know how much it should be decreased, but you know, right now, I think you know, with the Panda versus uh, you know, uh, Stinger, when they get you know head to head, mm -hmm. still the with the Panda will uh, lose against uh, Stinger. Yeah, talking about Vandal, actually, I wanted to ask, um, because D-Rex is one of those teams that is actually using the Phantom more than the Vandal. Can you share what's the team's um, perspective? Why are you choosing the Phantom more? Yeah, <laughs> Phantom I believe Vanda is still good. Um, before that, as team wise, that we preferred the Phantom more than uh, Vandal, but uh, these days we're just asking the players, you know, any guns that you want to use, mm -hmm. you can use. Okay, so more freedom to the player's choices then? Yes. Okay, cool. Very nice to hear. Um, all right, let's go to the last question. It's, uh, already we're getting into a very long interview. So let's let's uh, get one more question from uh, for, for you. Lotus is the new map, and it's like... Haven and a little bit of bind because the doors are like the teleports a little bit, right? When you can swap the line, the lines. And what do you think about it? Do you like it? Do you think it's too complicated? Mm. <laughs> 저희가 생각했을 때는 처음에는 이제 저희는 이제 신규 맵에 나오는 거 일단 선호하지는 않아요. 왜냐면은 처음부터 모든 걸다 새로 시작해야 되기 때문에 하지만 이제 플레이 해 보면서 괜찮다고 생각을 했고 저희 팀에 오히려 유리한 맵이다라고 생각을 하고 있습니다. 그래서 뭐 작전이나 그런 것들은 뭐 아직 보여드리진 않았지만 뭐 그런 것들은 이제 만약에 하게 된다면 보여드릴 거고 아마 재밌는 경기로 이제 경기를 볼수 있을 
아, 볼수 있을지 않을까 싶어요. Oh, for as a DRX, we don't like any new maps. <웃음> When the new maps comes out, you know, when new maps come out, is we hate them because we have to start all over again. We have to have a new strategy, new mm -hmm. way of uh, you know, running the map and everything. But uh, I believe the uh, Lotus the map itself is very um, good for us. I mean, it's, it works real well with us that uh, uh, we haven't showed any strategy yet or any um, mm -hmm. gameplay in Lotus. But when the time comes, we'll show you. So it's going to be very interesting. Okay, so I don't want to ask you about your strategy like in detail, but could you share with me like the few agents that you think are very good on this map? If you don't feel like sharing, it's fine. But maybe even personal just opinion. Okay. 공개하실 수 있으면은 이제 공개 해주시면 좋을 것 같은데. 아니면 그냥 개인적인 의견으로 얘기를 하는 걸로 해서 이제 이 맵에 적합한 최적 최적 어 제일 적합한 요원이 누구일 뭐안 하시고 싶으면 안 하셔도 일단은 일단 저희도 모든 요원을 요원의 가능성을 열어보고 다 시도를 해보고 있는 상태라서 정확히 뭐 얘가 지금 당장 만약에 어, Z가 좋다 하더라도 내일 되면 바뀔 수도 있거든요. 저희도 그렇기 때문에 아직 정확히 막 다섯 요원을 다 정하기에는 좀 어려운 것 같아요. Uh, right now that uh, we're trying all different agents in this map. That um, it's really hard to say that which one is the best right now. Uh, mm -hmm. We're trying everything, and I could just say that uh, maybe um, you know, if I say Z is best right now, but Tomorrow, uh, it can be changed. So we don't know which one, which agent will be the best fit for this map. It, But we're trying yep. all different agents in this map. So we will try to find uh, best five soon. Okay. Do you expect the teams to play Lotus in Brazil? What do you think? Or because it's single limb, maybe not? Lotus will play single element. Elimination We will show you how it works. <laughs> But uh, do you think other teams will be, uh, you know, will be picking it, or not really? 다른 팀들이, 그러니까 싱글 엘리미네이션이기 때문에 잘 픽을 안할것 같아. 왜냐면은 너무 변수가 많기 때문에. 네. Well, I believe the other teams will not choose this map mm -hmm. because it's new and there are a lot of um. A lot of um, uh, new things might come up, then unexpected uh, things, so that uh, I believe the other teams will not pick this map. Fanatic will do it. He believes. Uh, I believe that a fanatic might probably <laughs> choose this map. Well, even though it's a single elimination. Yeah, I, I hope uh, DRX and Fnatic meet in the final because that's how the bracket works, right? So, uh, is there any actually opponent that you would like to have in your way? Do you look forward to like one of the matches? Let's assume you're winning everything. Uh, So um I personally want um former optic now NRG that we will have a big revenge on them. <laughs> okay. We will crush them. I love it. Love it. Awesome. Thank you very much for the interview. That was lovely to hear your thoughts and opinions and also hear a little bit about how DRX is working as a team. Uh, good luck in Brazil. I'll be watching all the matches and doing analysis as well. So uh, this, is, this was awesome. Thank you very much for joining. And uh, 
Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.